Imagine a church that is full of people who are worshipping God together, content with the Sunday services and happy with things as they are. Then along comes a young curate, on fire with the gospel and wanting to spread the good news to people who wouldn't dream of stepping foot in a church. In 1882, this was the dilemma which Wilson Carlyle faced. In response, he established Church Army. His vision was to train ordinary Christian men and women to share the gospel with those most in need. He began by holding open-air gatherings to share faith and encourage faith to turn into action. As Church Army grew, Carlisle focused the charity's work on the slums of Westminster, one of the darkest spots in London. Since then, we have continued to follow God's call to share the good news of Jesus and to usher in God's kingdom. We are Church Army. In 1883, Church Army was officially recognised by the Church of England. The training of commissioned evangelists began and a social action took the form of men's and women's homes, social work in the slums, prison work and horse-drawn mission caravans. At the turn of the century, the need to support those facing unemployment became a strong focus through residential care in homes and marquees. This era also saw pioneer tent missions, beach missions, the church army printing press, and the making of films for evangelism. Church Army was active during both the First and Second World War, where Church Army was working both at home and overseas, providing much needed recreation huts for the armed forces, operating ambulances, mobile canteens, and kitchen cars. We also opened training centres for men who had been left disabled by the fighting. In the new age that dawned, many evangelists were employed to work with children and young people, the future generation. Youth centres were built and relationships developed with scouting and guiding associations. We continued providing hostels for homeless men and women and care homes for the elderly. Today, we continue to build on the foundations laid by Wilson Carlyle through our vision for everyone everywhere to encounter God's love and be empowered to transform their communities through faith shared in words and action. We began with one man and have grown into the church army we are today, a society of evangelists authorised by the Anglican Church. We're a mission community, people with a passion for evangelism, holding on to the same heart we've always had for the marginalised, vulnerable, those on the edges of society, and seeing God's love and hope break into people's lives. To see this vision in action, we are pursuing our DARE strategy right across these islands. Doing, advocating, resourcing and enabling evangelism. We're a doing organisation. We don't just talk about stuff, we don't just do concepts, we put our faith into action, helping real people in real communities. We've seen a huge increase in the numbers of centres of mission across these islands. Each one of those, our teams are working to find the needs in local communities, to bless people, to form Christian community, and by our partnerships with dioceses and local churches to inspire local people in their mission and outreach. Our evangelists and staff work with a wide variety of people on the margins of our society, with the homeless, with refugees, with women involved in prostitution, with people experiencing debt and self-esteem issues, with people battling self-harm, others who've got addictions. We're working with young people, with elderly people, and we're working on tough housing estates. Our key projects, such as the Marlebone Project, the largest women-only homeless project in London, and one of the largest in the UK, provided over 40,000 nights of accommodation for homeless women last year. Our residential services in Cardiff help young people who experience homelessness. And our Amber Project in Cardiff helps over 100 young people every year who experience self-harm because we believe in social action and we believe in social justice. We're advocating evangelism as well. Many of us speak at conferences and events right across these islands to inspire the church and take mission and evangelism seriously. We produce articles for magazines and for the press 
and our research unit is at the cutting edge of investigating what is working in terms of mission and evangelism and communicating that effectively to the rest of the church to help inspire the church to take risks and to be bold and to push boundaries to help more people know the good news of Jesus Christ. But we're also resourcing evangelism so we can create resources that we can put into people's hands to help them be able to reach their own communities with the gospel in relevant ways. Faith Pictures is a short, snappy, exciting, free resource which enables people to talk about the things that really matter and be more confident in sharing their faith with their friends and neighbours. Why on Earth is a new nurture course which is designed specifically for people from non-book cultures to be able to ask the big questions about life, to explore faith and what really matters. And Equip, which is a new webinar resource for busy lay pioneers and lay leaders of churches who can dip in and dip out of this resource. Each session is led by a talented host who's an expert in their field to enable people to learn but also have space to discuss and think about the issues about how we grow church in this changing culture. And finally, we're enabling evangelism. We've seen a doubling of the number of people training to be church army evangelists. And maybe one of those people could be you. And join a cohort of commissioned evangelists serving right across these islands to help people come to a living faith in Jesus Christ. And there's our amazing Explore program which equips young people aged 18 through 30 to be excited and empowered and envisioned to reach their friends and their communities with the gospel. Everything we do in our DARE strategy is underpinned by our faith and values. We are generous, modelling God's generosity to others. We are risk-taking. Our heritage is as a pioneering movement. We give our colleagues the opportunity to try new things. We are accountable to God and others. We want to be reliable and live responsibly. We're collaborative. We love to work in partnership with others who share our values. We believe it enhances our work. We are expectant, we are hope-filled, and we believe God will do new things amongst us. We are unconditional, serving anyone regardless of their age, gender, race, sexuality, ability, status or circumstances, because God loves everyone and everyone is significant in his eyes. We are prayerful listening for God's voice and being obedient to him. We want to be like Jesus in our actions and witness. These values are at the heart of all we do as we help those most in need. The homeless, women experiencing prostitution, young offenders, the elderly, youth and children and many more. But we couldn't do any of this without you. We are Church Army. We are trailblazers. We activate change strengthen lives, build communities. We embrace the challenge, wear the helping hand, the boots on the ground. We are Church Army. We are Church Army. I hope you've really enjoyed this film and seen the amazing work that Church Army does right across these islands. So we would love for you to join us and partner with us and stand with us. We'd love for you to have our Catalyst magazine, which is full of inspiration and story of what our teams are doing across these islands. We'd love you to pray for us and we'll send you our prayer diary or our weekly prayer emails and stand with us in prayer. We'd love you to do some fundraising, because fundraising can be fun, whether it's running a race or jumping out of a plane or running an event with your friends, helping communicate something of the work that we do, at the same time raising money that will help us change more lives. We're also a mission community, and you can come and join us and be part of Church Army. But you know, while we are Church Army, we can't do what we do without you. And thank you for choosing to stand with us because together we are Church Army. Faith taking action. <laughs>